Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Chris Carver channel. Okay, it's been a while for one reason, and that is because I moved. Um, I recently moved, uh, I started back in November, and we're still getting things in um, every day, furniture-wise. So here is the new Tiger Barb Aquarium that I got. I actually got this from a local store. They had it for $500. And right before Christmas, they put a half-off sale. It is a 75-gallon aquarium. It came with everything you see except for the pump. And I got it for half-off. It actually turned out to be like $247. 75-gallon aquarium, everything. Awesome. Loved it. Took it. I wanted to put it in the, the new living room here. So here's the deal. I put all the tiger barbs in there. And believe it or not, they look better in this tank, I believe, than in the 125 that I had, which I sold by the way, cause I'm gonna be getting a bigger tank for downstairs. So this 75 gallon aquarium, when I put these guys in here, I think they move together more. I think they're way more active and they don't look crowded at all to me at all. They all, they're all happy. They eat two, three times a day if I wanna feed them that much. But these guys, a lot of these guys in here, if you remember there are some of them are like two years old. Some of them are like a year old, um, but they all do really good. And I'll tell you what, I'll get a little closer so you can see. I just wanted you to see the, the whole stand and everything because I'm doing videos on this aquarium versus the 125. So here are the guys. And as you can see, they are all very curious. Oh, and I added some albinos for a little bit of color. I also added some other things in there, but I doubt you could see them. Um, there's two albino longfin bristlenose plecos in there. They're a little bitty, but they're both still there. They've been in there for several weeks now. Uh, the two big catfish, like these guys here, they're waiting for me to feed. They both came here. They're like seven years old each. Um, I put a couple different plants in here. Let's see if I see anything on the other side down here. A lot of glare, sorry about that, but I'm doing this during the day versus night like I normally do. But I wanted you to see this. I couldn't wait for you guys to see the new tank. Um, and again, tell me in the description below if you think that they look like they're struggling for space. Very active. Everybody who comes in this house says that they have never seen such an active tank as they have with these guys. Because Tiger Barbs, they will follow you. If you come from like the kitchen area and walk around, they're all up here and they follow you all the way around to the other side. They're so neat. They're way more active than they were at the other house. So I'm gonna do a feeding here. And I got some blood worms, some frozen blood worms. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys real quick. And I'm gonna show you these lights. I thought these lights were cool. First time I've ever had them. But let's go ahead and just dump all these things in there, shall we? Put that down. And these guys get the same thing they got at the other house. Frozen food, dry food, flake food, ham, turkey, um, night crawlers, red worms. I give them the same thing. And this guy right here, well, both of them down at the bottom, they'll either eat anything that hits the bottom or they'll go up on top and snack down. I put the electric blue Jack Dempsey in here because I do have a different fish in the 55. He gets along great with these guys. Nobody picks on him. He doesn't pick on anybody, but he was beat up really bad in the other aquarium, really bad. He lost so many of his, so much of his fins and he just was not aggressive enough to stand um, by himself and fight back. He was the one that would just go up in the corner and get beat up. So I pulled him from the aquarium. He's with these guys. I got five clown loaches. As you can see, I got them because they match the tiger barbs. I love clown loaches. They're super awesome. I bought five of them along with the two uh, long finned albino bristlenose plecos. Everybody gets enough food in here. There is no starvation. These guys are thriving. I love this tank. I wish I'd have gone to something like this earlier. Um, the big tanks that I, well, the big tank that I'm gonna be having downstairs, I'm hoping to get at least a 200 gallon 
and I have a lot of things in store for that 200 gallon. So make sure you stick around if you haven't already subscribed so you can see what that 200 gallon is gonna uh, do. And I do have another fish in the other aquarium. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna let you see him yet though. I think he'll be different. But yes, this is the new 75 gallon. And I'll have to show it to you at night so you can see what it looks like at night. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the lights because this came with it. I've never had one of these before, right? I've never owned one of these, but it's got two features. So during the day, of course, it looks like this. It's very bright, very lively. And then what if I wanted to go at night, if you could see it, it looks way better at night, but it's just like it's dark blue light where they could still do their sleep mode, but you can still see them and they still recognize you. It's really cool. And then of course, if I wanted to just shut it off, I can. So yeah, that's the aquarium. Show it to you again from this side here. I'm just very proud of this aquarium only because I got it for $247. That is super cheap for a 55 gallon aquarium, super cheap. All right, well guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I got some shopping to do. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there. Let me know what you think about the new tank. Um, I will be showing off the big tank as soon as I get it. And yeah, I'll have some more snake videos coming up. So, hey, thanks for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for dropping by the Chris Carver channel. See you guys later. Oh, there's a, oh yeah, there's one. That's an albino, sorry, I almost ended this video. That's an albino long finned bristle nose plico right there. So we can zoom in on them a little bit. There he is. And they are so cool. And there's two of them in here. And they were so little. They were like literally the size of a quarter when I got them. This guy's probably about the size of a silver dollar now. Yeah, there's two of them in there. Gold nuggets are in here, yes. Sorry, I almost ended that video without finding one of those guys. All right, guys, this time it's good. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll talk to you later.